Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Grovana, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. Happy Friday to you all. We are currently in my Megaton house, and the reason for that is because I wanted to drop off all the stuff that we got in the Pit DLC. We are done with that DLC, and actually, as fate would have it, as soon as I exited the train yard, I picked up the Vault 101 Emergency Frequency. If you don't remember, I've been talking about how I wanted to do the Trouble on the Homefront quest for a long time, which has to deal with Vault 101, which is where we started the game, which is where we were uh, living for our entire life up until we left the vault to enter the capital wasteland and luckily as soon as I exited uh, I picked up the emergency frequency which is what you need to start that quest so we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'm really excited it's one of my favorite quests of the game we're also gonna drop this auto axe because it is not unique and if we want another one we can get it and I prefer Jingwei's shock sword okay so before we listen before we listen to that uh, radio frequency we're gonna go ahead and proactively travel to vault 101 which is where that quest takes place obviously and then we'll go ahead and take a listen like I said to the vault 101 emergency frequency see I originally thought we weren't able to do this because you killed the overseer but there was also a little thing in my head that was like well, that doesn't make sense how are they gonna cut that completely out of that quest or how are they gonna cut you completely out of that quest if you kill the overseer so yeah I don't know why it didn't show up till now but it has shown up so we'll be able to do it so let's go ahead and take a listen to the vault 101 emergency frequency this is an automated distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. The new overseer is insane. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help save us. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is... Okay, so that was Amada, and if you don't remember who Amada is, and you can see there the password is Amada, we've also been given a quest, Trouble on the Homefront. Amada is our childhood friend. Uh, we killed her father, which was the Overseer, when we left Vault 101, and now it looks like the new Overseer is causing some trouble. So luckily, we've already found our dad. He's dead, unfortunately. Um, so now we can handle this. Let's go ahead and activate this quest, even though it's probably already activated. Trouble on the home front. Return to Vault 101. We have returned indeed, and because we know the password, we should be able to open this. Password Amada entered. Don't ask me how we entered... Uh how we entered a mod considering there's absolutely no keyboard on this control panel <laughs> but never mind we have a new objective here learn what happened to vault 101 can barely hear myself talk because this opening mechanism is so incredibly loud but we will find out what happened to vault 101 so we're going to stick to sneak mode for now we'll also use our infiltrator which is what we got from um the pit dlc it's like a silenced automatic rifle Pop! Went the rad roach. Okay, let's go ahead and head into here. Actually, I see a blue blip, so we're gonna go ahead and put this away. Cause I don't know if like talking to people. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but hold on. Wait a minute. It's you. I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Okay, where the hell is Amada, so help me if you've hurt her? Of course he didn't hurt her, he's Officer Gomez, he was the cool guy, remember? The guy that didn't want to kill us when everything went to shit. I need to talk with Amada, I got her message, I just thought I'd stop back for a bit, how's the old vault? Don't mind me, I'm just here to pick up some stuff I left behind. I need to talk with Amada, I got her message. Amada's message? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat, for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I just for talking with you now. I mean, I just had a hunch you was in trouble. That's a risk I'm willing to take. What sort of trouble do you mean? Let me bring you up to speed. It seems like it's been a mighty long time. The night you and your dad left, everything went crazy. Between the bugs and the confusion, we lost a lot of people. When your dad opened up that gate, he let loose a whole lot of crap. Whoa! Pardon my language. Excuse me, Mr. Gomez. Dad would be horrified to know all that if he were still alive. That was the overseer's fault and he paid for it that night. Yeah, Dad screwed all of us all of that. Dad screwed up all of our lives that day, didn't he? Dad would be horrified to know that all all that <laughs> if he were still alive. Can't read, jeez. I'm I'm sorry to hear that. 
Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. You're not alone in that, though. In all the chaos, Amada lost her dad, too. Because of me. Lots of us lost family, to tell the truth. Now Alan Max, the overseer, and he's taking a hard stance against those who want the vault to open again. So what now? I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Yeah, probably not Meanwhile, a good idea. Some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Choices, choices, choices. I think we're just going to walk away and not even do this. Huh, just kidding. You guys know me. And Vault 101's troubles. Can you leave me somewhere? Wait. Why don't the rebels just leave? This is too messed up. I'm leaving again. Just pretend I never came back. I'll go see what I can do about all this. Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. Alrighty. So... <laughs> As you can tell, because this is a Fallout game, looks like we're going to have a whole bunch of different options to choose from. Tunnel Snakes rule, if you don't know what that means, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I can tell you exactly what that means, actually. Tunnel Snakes is the gang led by Butch, uh, although it's not really a gang. Okay, so I don't think this is the right way. We're going to go ahead and follow Officer Gomez through the center here. We're going to break stealth because I, I think the first people that, that are going to talk to us are friendly. Um, so let's head into the atrium slash upper level. Now, it's funny because I don't think any of these guards are going to stand a chance against us. They all have, like, security armor and 10 millimeter pistols where we have a freaking, like, laser rifles and fat men and all these crazy stuff. That door and to hell with the overseer's rules. You know I can't do that, Freddy. Now get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're going to lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because we rule! Stay back! No! Wait, wait. Can't talk to him. Okay, what about you? Oh, no! Crap, you're crazy! <laughs> oh, luckily Don't he's- Don't you know enough to stay away? You almost shot Freddy! I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. Okay, tell me about the rebels. What happened down here? I have to go now. Tell me about the rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. Uh-huh. Okay. What about what happened down here? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting, her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Jeez. Okay. Uh, I have to go now. Yes, you do. See ya, Officer Taylor. Good luck. Don't shoot anybody. You're pretty old. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing as a guard, but uh, into the Vault 101 lower level. Uh, we also have a quest marker to a person, so let's try and find that. I can't go that way. That's wonderful. Can't open this door. Inaccessible. Upper level and storage. Okay, what about the upper level? There we go. Yeah, you keep saying that, Officer Gomez. You don't need to say that every time. It's kind of unwelcoming. Even though that's your ultimate goal, is to unwelcome me, or to not welcome me. I'm just going to stop talking before I sound even dumber than I already do. Okay, uh, work is work. You can see they crossed off the hard and happy there. Go Rebels. Okay, uh, let's see. We have another door here. You never should have left, kid. Now we'll make sure nobody ever leaves again. Jesus, that sounds <laughs> incredibly evil. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty, especially when I uh, blow your brains out of your skull. Wow, that was incredibly grotesque for this kid-friendly YouTube channel, wasn't it? Officer Wilkins is dead. 10 millimeter rounds, jail cell password. And it looks like that's all we care about. All right, so we do have somebody over here. Probably a mod, uh, off Overseer Mac. Oh, that's Overseer Mac. What's up, dude? Well, look at who came crawling back home. What's the matter? Homesick? Outside, not everything it was cracked up to be? Or was it just that daddy didn't want you anymore? Too bad. You're not wanted here. You're scum. Jeez, what's with all the overseers being complete dicks, you know? You know you know what I just realized? I've never had this happen. Usually I don't kill the overseer, so when I come back I have to deal with the actual overseer from the start of the game. But this is the guy that bangs on the wall and he's like, hey, hey, you don't you get out of here, whatever he says. I just realized that. You're the one who's been holding these people hostage. His people hostage. Hold on, I'm here to talk. You shut up about my dad, just shut up! <laughs> and you're dead. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's go with hold on, I'm just here to talk. Really? 
because you weren't here to talk with the last overseer. That's why I'm in charge now. So you'll excuse me if I don't trust you, and if I don't think you've got my vault's best interests at heart. Now, I'll make this easy for you. You can walk away and let me handle the vault, or I can put you down like a rabid dog. Your choice, kid. Dude, do you not realize I'm like level 19 and I'll kill you in like one shot? I just want to know why you won't open the vault. I agree with you. Let me get the rebels to stop. Be reasonable. You don't you need to open the vault. I think I'll just kill you now. You know I don't care anymore. Let me leave and I'll never come back. Be reasonable. You just you need to open the vault. You know what? I hear the last overseer tried being reasonable about things, and you killed him for his efforts. I think I'll skip the reasonable thing and just kill you now. All right, that's fine. If you want to go thing, if you want to go that way, let's take out the combat shotgun and pump a couple rounds into this guy's face, or just one. Like I said, it would only take one. I don't know why you didn't listen to me. Level 19, buddy boy. Uh, let's search overseer Mac. I can't, that's pretty funny though. I can't believe the quest was that easy this time around. Usually there's a lot more to this quest, but this guy literally walked into me. And I guess we solved it. Pre-war baseball cap, Vault 101, Vault 101 utility jumpsuit. Alright. Um, talk to Amada. Okay, so let's go find Amada now. Hello, Officer Gomez once more. I think Amada should be down here to the lower level. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this quest. It's kind of odd that we found the Overseer right off the bat. I know you can talk to Amada, you can talk about the Rebels, you can talk about like all the different stuff and try and find a peaceful solution. But we didn't really have a choice because he aggroed onto me. He was going to try and kill me. So, yeah. Usually I like to talk my way out of things. Usually I like to make it so that there's no bloodshed. But in this case wasn't really a possibility hey what's the word butch what do you do in the vault what do you think you're going to do outside butch why should i help you butch i'll be going now uh butch what do you do in the vault the damn goat said i'm supposed to be a hairdresser but that ain't me i'm a barber you got that there's a difference <laughs> can you give me a hair <laughs> yeah can you give me a haircut right now in the midst of all this chaos what do you think you're doing outside or what do you think you're going to do outside butch i'll start a gang of course why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Somehow hey, I doubt play your that. Cards right, maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Uh, hey, I'm already in the Tunnel Snakes. You gave me the jacket and everything. You have no idea how many gangs of idiot raiders are out there. I bet you're a mole rat chow before you make it. Yeah, there we go. I bet you're mole rat chow, mole, bleh, mole rat chow before you make it one day out there. Yeah, well, get us out of here and we'll see, won't we? We will, okay. Why should I help you, Butch? Because you've always been a goody two-shoes. That's true. So when I need help, it's what you're going to do, right? You're going to help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault. And I'll leave and never bother you again. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure we can already leave the vault. But let's go talk to Amada and just make sure that we can. I just heard what you did. It was terrible, but I guess it had to be He done. fired on me. Come What's on. More, some of the people are saying I should be the new overseer. It's... All so sudden. I'm sorry it had to end that way, but now the vault can have a real leader, or that's the way thing these things go. Now do the right thing for your vault. Yeah, I'm sorry it had to end that way, but now the vault can have a real leader. I'm sure you did everything you could to find another way. I know how stubborn he is. Uh, how stubborn he was. But you're right. We don't have time to grieve. The vault needs a leader now. That makes the rest of this even harder. I did what had to be done, and I do it again if necessary. I've got a bad feeling I know where this is going, and this is really funny right now because this line of dialogue is very reminiscent to... I don't remember which Fallout game it is. I think it might be the original, like Fallout 1, but uh, I'll explain after. Okay, so I've got... Uh, I did what had to be done, and I do it again if necessary. I realize that, and I don't blame you. If you hadn't been here, maybe one of us would have done the same. You saved us. But that doesn't change the fact that you killed the Overseer in cold blood to do it. And I can't let that sort of thing stand here. I'm sorry. You're a hero. And you have to leave. 
So that line of dialogue is pretty much the exact same thing as in one of the original Fallouts. If not the first one, then the second one. I don't really know because I've never played them, but I just know about this. Um, the overseer, like I think it's, I think this is how it goes. Like you go through the whole game, you bring back something that they needed, and then the overseer's like, "Thanks, you're a hero, but you have to go." I think he says the exact same thing, so he ostracizes you too. And keep in mind, this isn't the same vault. That was a different story. It's just that was clearly a reference back to that. And then um, apparently, like if you had the bloody mess perk, yes, it existed back then too. Uh, like there would be an extra cutscene where you just kill the overseer and it's like you know what fuck you buddy I do all that shit and then you're just gonna exile me so that's a nice little bit of trivia there so yeah we have to leave now um, I think that ends that way no matter what and this is really cool too Beatrice this is the woman that gave us that really weird poem at the start of this let's play and it looks like Andy killed her another patient what's it to be a eh? appendectomy me? Yeah, probably it's nothing. Me. Probably nothing, because it looks like you kill everybody that you come in contact with. So what's your take on this whole situation? Andy, what happened to all this blood? Ah, yes. A rather unfortunate incident. In all the commotion, Miss Beatrice suffered a rather bad sprain in her left toe. The big one. Obviously, I had no choice but to amputate the leg. Yeah, I'm sorry to say the operation was... Uh, not a, uh, success. Yeah, it would appear that way. Wait, they made you the doctor? But of course! With your father's departure from the vault and Jonas's untimely demise, the overseer had to take swift action. <laughs> and so he named me the new vault medical practitioner. A marvelous decision, if I do say so myself. I am fully equipped, after all. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely a marvelous decision as uh, seen with all the blood everywhere. Okay, so one thing we're going to do before we exit here is go to this little framed quote, which is the quote that our da uh, dad told us was our mother's favorite quote in the beginning of the game. You can see it's locked average. We're going to go ahead and open it. Now, you can do this at any time, pretty much. I think you have three chances, one during this quest, one during, um, uh, what are we doing here? No, one when you're escaping the vault, and, uh, oh, I guess maybe two. Yeah, okay, so bottle caps 300, home sweet home, schematics, rocket launcher. Not a rocket launcher, but a rocket launcher. Um, okay, and I also see a terminal here. This is the last chance we have to look at this stuff, so I just want to make sure. I think this is just a terminal, yeah, on each of the patients. Okay. So, did we complete this quest? I don't think we did. Leave Vault 101 forever. So this is the last chance you have to find all that stuff if you're following along or... I'm sorry, but you have to leave. I know. Screw you, Amada. I help all you guys out and this is how you repay me. Wonderful. It's good to s Goodbye. We'll yeah, I won't really miss you guys because you guys are jerks. Alright, so we need to leave Vault 101 forever. And the funny thing about Butch is that he can actually become a follower. I think you have to have good karma. It's either good or neutral. But he can actually be a follower of yours. I don't know why you would want Butch as a follower. It's a shame you gotta go, but you'll do okay out there. Okay, so I don't know if we did it wrong so that now we can't get Butch as a follower, but even if we could, I wouldn't want him anyways. Um, and also, I'm not going to have any followers for the remainder of this Let's Play. We can go back and get Fox, but I just like to be super stealthy, and especially now with all the 308 sniper rifle ammo that we have from the last episode in the pit, making all that 308 ammo in the press. We are primed and ready to play this uh, game how I really have wanted to from the start. What a jerk. It's a shame you've got to go, but you'll do okay. Now, like I was saying, there's a whole different ways you can do this quest. This was a really odd and simple way that we completed it this time. Um, but I think you always have to leave no matter what. Oh, that's nice. I think you always have to leave no matter what. Even if you solve things perfectly, Amad is still like, Alright, you gotta go. See ya. So, yeah. And they just really wanted to, to reference like the first uh, game or whatever. So, is the vault gonna close? I thought the vault closes automatically. Guess not. Well... <sighs> It's time to leave Vault 101 for the second and final time. There it goes. No, 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 wait, I had something left to do. I had to get the bobblehead. No! And if you don't get the bobblehead, that's the last time you could ever get it. So make sure you get it if you're playing through this game. Oh, boy. All right, let's head back into the Capital Wasteland we are, where we are going to stay for the remainder of this playthrough. Yeah, that really didn't... It really didn't do that quest that just... Blah, blah, blah. 
it really didn't do the quest justice all of the times that I've talked about it being really cool. Like, you can talk with the, the rebels and, like, Butch will leave after you do certain things. There's a bunch of different stuff. And that, I don't really... I didn't really complete it how I wanted to, but nevertheless, we completed it, and once again, we're greeted with a sign that says, Scenic Overlook, and there we go. Thanks for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Grovana. I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to like and share the video wherever you can. It really helps me out. If you have a question or a suggestion, Twitter is the best way to get in touch with me, and if you'd like to subscribe or watch another video that's going to be related to this one, you can click the annotations on the screen. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.